Israel has moved to significantly enhance the survivability of its Apache attack helicopters, a platform that has been central to the country's air power for decades. In a new agreement with Bird Aerosystems, the Ministry of Defense has approved the integration of the company's latest missile defense technology, the compact and highly advanced DARCM system, onto the AH-64 fleet. This decision not only strengthens Israel's military capabilities but also highlights the broader global trend toward lightweight, modular protection systems for rotary and fixed-wing aircraft. For the Israeli Air Force, which has relied on the Apache since the 1990s, this represents a crucial modernization step in an increasingly dangerous aerial environment. The Apache has long been a cornerstone of Israel's defense strategy, carrying out missions ranging from close air support and anti-armor operations to precision strikes against terrorist groups. Its effectiveness has been demonstrated in multiple conflicts, where its agility, firepower, and ability to operate at low altitudes have made it invaluable. Yet those very strengths also leave it vulnerable to man-portable air defense systems, or manpads, which have proliferated across the Middle East in recent years. These shoulder-fired missiles, guided by infrared signatures, pose a persistent and growing threat to helicopters and low-flying aircraft. Countering them has become an urgent priority, and the new contract with Bird Aerosystems directly addresses that concern. At the center of the upgrade is Bird's DARCM, which stands for Micro-Directed Infrared Countermeasure. Unlike traditional flare and chaff systems, which attempt to confuse a missile by overwhelming its sensors, this new technology uses directed laser energy to blind or mislead the seeker ahead of incoming threats. The company describes it as the smallest and most advanced system of its kind, offering detection, tracking, confirmation, and active defense in a single lightweight package. This means faster response times, fewer false alarms, and a far greater chance of survival for the aircraft and its crew in combat scenarios where every second counts. The development and integration of the DAR-CM are being carried out under the supervision of Israel's Directorate of Defense Research and Development, ensuring the system meets the rigorous demands of the Israeli Air Force. What makes the technology particularly notable is its adaptability. While designed for helicopters like the Apache, it can also be fitted to fixed-wing aircraft, special mission platforms, and even unmanned aerial vehicles. Its compact size, low power consumption, and modular architecture make it a versatile solution for militaries worldwide, and Israel's adoption of the system is expected to drive further international interest. For Bird Aerosystems, the contract represents a milestone achievement. Company executives have expressed pride that one of the world's most capable air forces has chosen their newest product for a frontline platform. They argue that the system not only represents cutting-edge defense technology but also reaffirms Israel's position at the forefront of innovation in electronic warfare. In modern conflicts, where adversaries can field increasingly advanced missile systems at relatively low cost, having such protection is no longer optional but essential. The decision to equip Apaches with the DAR-CM shows a clear recognition of that reality. The Israeli Air Force already employs a variety of countermeasures on its helicopters, but the introduction of this next-generation system represents an entirely new layer of defense. In low-altitude operations, where Apaches often fly to avoid radar detection and provide close support to ground forces, the threat from infrared-guided missiles is particularly severe. These conditions demand fast, reliable defensive systems that can operate without adding excessive weight or reducing the aircraft's maneuverability. Bird's solution was designed with precisely those requirements in mind, giving pilots confidence that they are protected even in high-threat environments. The importance of such an upgrade cannot be overstated when considering the regional security situation. Israel faces a constantly evolving set of challenges from both state and non-state actors. 
Groups operating in neighboring territories have access to increasingly sophisticated weapons, including manpads supplied through black markets or state sponsors. In such an environment, any vulnerability in a frontline system like the Apache could have serious consequences, both tactically and strategically. By enhancing the helicopter's survivability, Israel not only protects its pilots but also preserves a critical component of its deterrence capability. The Apache itself has been a symbol of Israel's ability to conduct precision operations and respond quickly to emerging threats. First delivered to the country in the 1990s, it has undergone several modernization cycles, with upgrades to avionics, weapons, and communication systems. The addition of the Dar CM is the latest step in keeping the platform relevant and capable of meeting 21st century challenges. This reflects a broader philosophy within the Israeli defense establishment, to continuously adapt and integrate new technologies that maintain a qualitative edge over potential adversaries. Beyond its impact on Israel's defense, the contract has broader implications for the global defense industry. Lightweight, modular self-protection systems are in growing demand as militaries around the world seek to protect their fleets against advanced missile threats. The ability to equip helicopters, small aircraft, and even drones with effective countermeasures opens new opportunities for companies like Bird Aerosystems. The Israeli deal may serve as a showcase, demonstrating the system's effectiveness in one of the most demanding operational environments in the world and potentially leading to wider international adoption. Another aspect worth noting is the strategic partnership between Israel's Ministry of Defense and its domestic defense companies. This collaboration allows for the rapid development and fielding of technologies tailored specifically to the country's needs. By working closely with Bird Aerosystems, the ministry ensures that the DAR-CM system will be optimized for integration with the Apache airframe and mission profile. This not only accelerates deployment but also reinforces the country's defense industrial base, ensuring that critical expertise and production capacity remain within Israel. While the exact financial value of the contract and the timeline for fielding the upgraded helicopters remain undisclosed, the announcement itself sends a clear message. Israel is committed to protecting its frontline assets with the best technology available, even if that requires significant investment. The secrecy surrounding certain details is typical for defense projects, particularly those involving sensitive electronic warfare systems, but the strategic intent is unmistakable, to keep Israeli pilots safe and maintain air superiority in the face of evolving threats. In the long term, the integration of the Dar CM may influence how other countries approach helicopter defense. Traditionally, rotary wing aircraft have been among the most vulnerable platforms in modern warfare, with relatively low speed, limited altitude, and heavy reliance on close range operations. Adding effective directed infrared countermeasures could change the balance, making helicopters more survivable and extending their operational relevance even as adversaries deploy more advanced missile systems. Israel's decision to adopt this technology may encourage allies and partners to follow suit, further expanding its global footprint. Ultimately, the upgrade of Israel's Apache fleet with Bird Aerosystems missile defense system illustrates the intersection of necessity, innovation, and strategy. The proliferation of manpads and other guided weapons has created an environment where no military asset can be considered safe without advanced self-protection measures. By acting now, Israel ensures that its Apaches, already a formidable weapon in its arsenal, remain effective and survivable for years to come. The move underscores both the vulnerability of modern aircraft and the ingenuity of defense companies working to counter those threats. As the security landscape grows more complex and contested, the importance of staying ahead technologically will only increase. For Israel, equipping the Apache with the Dar CM is not just a tactical upgrade but a strategic statement. It reflects a broader doctrine of innovation-driven defense, where maintaining a qualitative edge is seen as essential to national security. 
In doing so, Israel once again demonstrates that survival in a volatile region depends as much on technological superiority as on operational skill, ensuring that its forces remain ready to meet the challenges of tomorrow.